What's up guys, it's Juno. Welcome to a, kind of a standalone series almost. I've said that word twice in like the past two series that I brought to the channel, so not quite sure I'm going to continue saying that word, but anyway, that's another story for another day. Um, I'm going to do a team building video because I think in addition to me needing more teams, because I go through teams like super fast. <laughs> um, are, you, are you talking wet? What? <laughs> Never mind. Um, <laughs> I, I feel like it would be mildly educational to the people out there. So, um, we're going to do a team building video in UVU. And uh, I have the Lord Squad Maker himself. In uh, call. It's me. Yeah. All right, so, we wanted to use Banded Snorlax because it hits Chandelure and Entei. It basically counters them. Yeah. And we have Facade to take Sacred Fires better and makes them feel makes them feel safe and then you bop them yeah and then every other move pursuit traps chandelure earthquake hits steals harder and return is just a nice normal stab yeah like we could run self-destruct but i don't think it's worth it <laughs> 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 we ain't playing smash here um so, so then our mindset for the second mon and we're going to be building this more or less live for the last four slots so hopefully this doesn't take 12 years because um, <laughs> it very well could. Um, anyway, for the second slot, we decided to add a setup sweeper because, uh, like, takes... basically, we wanted a setup sweeper that benefited that benefited from having fire types gone. Um, and yeah. a bomb of snow pretty much fits that bill. So, mm -hmm. cool mod. It's also a bomb of snow, which is cool. Yeah, uh, with enough speed to outrun Umbreon. I believe it's Umbreon before you Mega. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, th th that's the story. Of that anyhow. Mm -hmm. um, so so uh, our... we already kind we already kind of decided the next slot. We want to use Crobat because Be it checks fighting types and gives us defog. Yeah, which and we have a pretty mighty fighting weakness right here. Yeah. So uh, are we going Black Sludge or Skyplate? I was gonna go Black Sludge. Yeah. Got to get that survivability. Um, and it is our uh, current best way to beat Gator. Yeah. I don't know how well Obama still takes an ice punch or a crunch. Um, it takes like forty percent. No, like at plus two. No, <laughs> um, no, like, <laughs> like it won't get O code um, if rocks aren't up. So. Well, still, it's nice to have two. So. Yeah, yeah. So Brave Bird, Defog, U Turn, and um, Roost. Roost. Yeah. I typed root. And <laughs> this ain't no tree. Um, so two twelve Jolly speed. One seventy six HP. Yeah, and 120 attack. Got him. All right, so anyway. I don't know if that's right, but hopefully it is. Anyway, uh, for everybody watching at home, uh, what this spread aims to do is outrun Jolly Gator, or Adamant, Adamant Gator, Gator at plus one. So after Dragon Dance, mm -hmm. yeah. And then I hope, I think Brave Bird probably two a KO. Yeah, and basically check fighting types with 176 HP, which is super helpful because mm -hmm. they're all over this tier. And uh, what's Aircross our... Aircross and Man Chow. Those things what's our what? Oh. Uh, what's our nickname? Cause Master Bat, got him. Because that is <laughs> that, that is the most important part of these teams, guys. If you build a horrible team but have great nicknames, you'll probably still win. Mhm. Mm That's my mindset, really. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so let, let's see. We have um, we have zero for Mega Aerodactyl. Zero for Mega Aero. Um, and also a thing, if you don't really know what your team's weak to, you can just go to the viability thread. Mhm. Mm or it the, has like uh, all team building. Yeah, there's like a team building role thing. Yeah, that what, also which exists. I will link in the description for Hopefully. anybody curious. Yeah. But yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> like you can check and see if your team covers most of the S and A rank mon. That's really all you need because once you check those, you should have checks to the lower uh, viable mons as well. Mm -hmm. Just naturally built in. Yeah. All right, so we have these three right now. Um, we actually have a nice set of resistances built up right here. Yeah. But we have kind of a rock problem and, uh, and we uh, could use a stealth rocker. We could use a secondary Suicune check because uh, Obama still can be burned. Mm -hmm. We also need an arrow check. Huh. It's kind of an interesting list to fill. Um, so, wait, wait. So, the things that we have immense check, we have like a yeah. soft Suicune check. Mm -hmm. um, we have a fighting check, which is good. We have a fire check. We have a. Yeah. Did I we already have, say fighting? Yeah. Okay, cool. We have a defogger. <laughs> now we need rocks. Um. So we need rocks, rocks, arrow check, Suicune check, and let's see what else we're kind of like switches to Amphros, but I think we can fill that role eventually. Yes, 
like more soft checks to the Nittos would be really nice, but not yeah. necessary. The Snorlax get two hit KO'd even with its bulk. Um, it that. avoids the two hit KO from modest Nitto Queen's Life Orb Sludge Wave. From Nitto Queen? Yeah. Alright, so Queens. And they're more common, so. Yeah. And plus Nitto King runs Timid, so. And Crobat outspeeds and can do a lot of damage with Brave Bird, so I think we're good on that. Mm -hmm. Alright, so let's see. What is what shall be our arrow check of choice? Um, arrow doesn't hit super hard, so yeah, it's more of like a blanket check for ninety five percent of the tier. Yeah, so <laughs> it, it's basically like egg slash, where you don't necessarily have to run mm -hmm. a lot of offense or hit really hard. Just mm -hmm. she's just kind of there. Mm -hmm. um, if we wanted, we could add crook, but then that we're kind of weak to a tail. Yeah, I mean, Suicune's also another choice. Suicune is a good choice. We could run... Or Empoleon, because that gives that's us... That's true. Kind of gives us... Then that, nah, that's three fighting weaknesses. <laughs> and but fighting types kind of dominate the tier a little bit, mm -hmm. like Machamp, Mian Shao, uh, Bear sure, Cross, sure. all just destroy things. What about Perk? Swampert? That gives us rocks. Yeah, I guess that could work. Yeah. Like, it, it's not perfect, and we can come back to change it if we need to, but... It does have really good synergy with Crobat, which is yeah. really important. And with Obama, more or less. Yeah, it gives us a pseudo fire, water, grass core. Uh-huh. Shout out to Norlax. Yeah. All right, so Swampert so, it is then. Mm -hmm. It also gives us another Entei check, because, mm -hmm. I mean, Snorlax doesn't exactly check it completely. Yeah, Snorlax basically takes... A good chunk from Sacred Fire. Yeah, it probably does like 30 ish percent, I want to say. Oh, we'll, we'll innovate the EV spreads later and then mm -hmm. drop the pace bin. If anybody <laughs> just wants to take the team and do it, I can. <laughs> so, Snorlax, just go Scald, EQ, Rocks, and Roar. Yeah, so Damp? Damp? Or Torrent? Yeah, Damp could be good for uh, Fortress leads. Yeah, so Scald, Earthquake, Rocks, and Roar. Oh, I'm a slow typer. All right. Anyway, we got roar. So, are we going physically defensive or are we going like mixed defensive shenanigans? Trying to think. What is? I don't know exactly what mixed defenses run. Neither do I. I I'm kind of <laughs> thinking just run physically defensive. Yeah. And then we can slap There's... on a spadef mon if we want to. Huh. I'm just looking at the tier. I don't really know what spadef checks. Rather, I mean, I guess it checks Amphros better. Yeah. And what was that one thing I was using? earlier mm. I, I don't remember your but guess is as good as mine <laughs> i was using oh curum that's Kyrum. right yeah but like um nutra system kind of checks that so <laughs> almighty <laughs> snorlax anyway so nickname for the great swampert i got i, I got nothing to be honest and right. EVs is 240 16 attack i forget, i forget what this does but it does something. It's, it's, it's the standard. <laughs> Maybe allows us to Oko Entei with EQ. Might be. And it gives, and relax nature, obviously. Because mm -hmm. we want a powerful Scald. E, best, obviously, best, best, best move, best in, move the in the game. <laughs> scald is whack. <laughs> anyway, um, moving on to the fifth mod. So we're about covered on. We're all... really slow, though. Which yeah, is we're, we're, we're super slow, but we have all of our, like, backbone, or, like, Name yeah, we still threats we, covered, I guess. We still could use another check to Crocoon. Yeah. Cause ours is kinda shaky just because of Scald. A actually though, um Snorlax does like sixty percent. Yeah, you show me that. With facade. If it's burned. If, yeah, if it's burned, which you know. <laughs> oh no, we probably won't even get burned. <laughs> <laughs> that, that that's the secret to not getting burned. Just run mods <laughs> that want to get burned. Um, anyway. Um, maybe Heliolus? Nah, that's not our fighting weakness. Yeah. It's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> we, I suppose we could go Entei if we really wanted to, but that doesn't but really help again, us at all. That doesn't help, but nah. It just gives us priority, which we already have with Obama Snow. Let's think here. So we're looking primarily for... Fast a, mods, and we're also looking for another... We can check. I guess check, yeah. Alright. Hmm. We can go Pidgeot. We already have a Mega. 
My bad. <laughs> <laughs> unless you're go unless you're feeling a uh, regular Pidgeot. Scarf Pidgeot. Get that HP electric. We out here. I guess we could go like Life Orb Hydreigon. I'm looking at the look at the lower tiers a little bit. Or not the lower tiers, the lower viability. Mm hmm I don't have the list open, but it's Oh, we go like, the Lord Scarf Roserade. <laughs> if you're really feeling that. So we can four it KO Suicune at plus one? Does that is that how much it does? <laughs> no, probably not, but it's not very okay. strong. Um let me think here. We could go Hera, Scarf Hera. Mm. It's not but like super usually, strong, but it usually runs Moxie, so mm -hmm. it's true. That's like the only reason you'd use it. Hmm. What about like Stallbreaker Hydreigon? Which one, like? Like Life Stab Orb, Superpower, Life Orb Roost, um, Superpower, and then Draco and Taunt. Dark. Oh, that I have no idea. <laughs> like, I, I suppose. Like, oh God, I accidentally clicked on Gudra. That is not what I want at all. Like, um, I could use Gudra. <laughs> Get good. Anyway, <laughs> um, I, I guess like the benefits to Hydreigon are uh, gives us a psychic immunity, which is kind of nice. Um, yeah, we do have Crobat. gives us another wall breaker, and gives us Taunt, which is kind of nice for breaking down stuff like Suicune. Because even if it does get to plus one, we can just taunt it, stop it from recovering, and call minding, and just spam Bruce. <laughs> I know you said that it gives us a psychic immunity, but it, we already have Crobat, which basically you turns out on Zam. Yeah, that's true. And not, and then I even, not a lot of Zams run Focus Sash anymore, and we have Snorlax and a stuff like that. A lot of like them that. are like Life Orb Encore. Yeah, Life Orb. So I don't really think we need a psychic check. Like, if it happen, we happen to get one, then that's then cool. Then it's like, hey, like... But like, you really shouldn't play by type charts. Yeah. Because then you just lose the Bolt Beam. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let me see here. So, so we want something fast that basically resists water. I was or that or an electric type. Yeah. But Jolteon sucks. What if we went uh, Rotom C? Rotom Cut. Yeah, it it, it gives. Uh, <laughs> I, I know what you want to name it, but I'm not. I'm already put that tempted to say video. yes because of that. Uh, I'm not gonna put the name in the video if we do Why it. Why not? But <laughs> you know. Nobody even makes that joke anymore. I know. <laughs> that joke died after a day. Um, the benefits to Rotom C are that like we could go some wacky spec set if we really wanted to. I mean, yeah, it's dual grass, which is kind of unfortunate. But it's like we have plenty for fire types. And it and, doesn't it's not and, weak to flying, it's and not ice weak. types aren't really a problem. Well, there are a problem in the we actually only have one resist to that. Yeah. But it has a lot of bulk, it's all good. All right, so are we going Rotom C? Yeah, it looks good. So should we go Scarf or Specs? Um, hmm. Scarf gives us more speed. I don't know if it outspeeds Salamence at plus one though. It doesn't. And that's um, we do have we have um a bomb snow though, so I think that's all. That's okay. Yeah, we could go just like lefties. Um, and then I can get Sam spread from. The SPL set dump. Just basically enough to outspeed Gator. I can just find out what that speed is. Yeah. I, I'm not sure how much how much it is, but... It's... Adamant or Jolly? Jolly? Question mark? Jolly. I think Jolly. it's like 180 something. Or Jolly, we'd have to run 281. Or reach 281, which we don't even reach. Alright, so, so it's, we, it's, it's Adamant. Adamant. Which I believe is 255. So yeah, we have to get 256, which isn't a whole lot. 192. That's a lot, actually. Okay. Um, I'm, and then I'm, I'm thinking like 192. Yeah, 252 it is. 252 special attack. And then rest in bulk. Yeah. Modest. And I got... Mm -hmm. No, no, we're running timid. Um, we didn't name Swampert. That's true. We'll, we'll come back to it, though. <laughs> so we, uh, we already know... We name, we're we naming Rotom Cut, Cut for Zane. <laughs> You're so bad. <laughs> If you are hurt by that, um, that loss, I'm sorry. But <laughs> you gotta stop. All so, right, so T-Bolt, Leaf Storm, Wisp. Oh, T-Bolt, okay. Volt I was gonna switch? go Volt Switch, but... I mean, we can still T go T-Bolt, Leaf Storm, Wisp, Volt Switch. Like, those four. See, the benefit of T-Bolt checks Crocoon better. The uh -huh. benefit of Volt Switch is that it still checks Gator and 
provide momentum. Wait, like what fourth move were you gonna go though? I was thinking pain split, but oh, that's if you want to go dual electrics, then I'm cool with that. I'm not sure, honestly. Like it, it pain split's kind of helpful like, for wearing down Suicune and stuff like Snorlax, but and full switch, full switch is volt switch, and it gives us a volt turn core with the master bat. All right, we'll we'll run pain split over T bolt because we have Leaf Storm if we really wanna. There we go. So right. what, you went Last you went volt switch. Is a scarfer. Uh, yeah, I went volt switch. Okay. Yeah, or just something that's really fast. Yeah. We already have a mega, so we can't just slap arrow on and call it a day. <laughs> Unfortunately. Ninety percent of you. you. <laughs> um. Hmm. I'm actually really pleased with how well we've covered stuff so far, but. Yeah. Is there, I'm trying to look for things we've missed. Swampert, I believe, avoids a two at KO from Amphros. From Dragon Pulse. Yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't shock nah, from T Bolt. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know if you meant Focus Blast, but it was kind of. Oh, that does thing. that does zero. That does twenty five to thirty. All right, we're you gonna. You count regular Ampharos. Oh, I forget. Okay, we need to run some special bulk then. All right, we'll we'll come up with the spread and brief yeah. the people when we get back. Um. So last last slide, we need a Scarfer because we're slow. Or, or, or just something, just something fast, really but... fast. Yeah. It's like th there's not a lot of those like like crowbat is fast though mm -hmm. it's faster than the majority of the tier hmm. we could run scarf mints but we're really asking for it with electric types yeah I mean, yeah we have ice my bad. yeah ice is ice we kind of could use an ice resist i mean we have lax but again that we doesn't take scarf a lot ape. scarf ape is definitely a thing that we could use because we do have two water resists um uh, flying, flying's looking kind of kind of rough, but like slightly an issue. So Pidgeot, we actually have nothing for that. Oh, <laughs> that's unfortunate. Um, is there anything that checks Pit Pidgeot and Arrow in one slot? Steel, well, not steel, but a uh, I guess a rock. We could go Empoleon over Pert. Yeah, I was thinking that, the, but that does give us a fighting weakness. That's true. But so it's basically like, do we want to be more weak to fighting or ice and flying? Well, not ice, but flying, yeah. I don't know. Like, I, the, my only issue is that, like, we actually just straight up lose to Pidgeot. Maybe we could do Rotom Heat over Rotom Mo. Yeah, sure. Like, it doesn't yeah. give us much of, like, a Suicune stop, but... It's still good T bolt and volt switch. That's true. Yeah, yeah sure. we can do that. We'll, we'll try that out. And oh, now we need a new name. <laughs> Rip. Do we do we actually just want to go the same set with just different mon? I mean, it's like I wouldn't mind it. I don't know how much we're gonna want to stay in on Gator though. We still get a volt switch out, which That's is true. the best thing. I'm really kind of thinking we. Um. All right, well, hold on. What if we went um, Whimsicott over Rotom and Empoleon over Swampert? Hmm. Because it still checks Suicune. Which Whimsicott? Um, whichever one you wanted. Because there's, like, the support one, and the support one doesn't even run Giga Drain or the offensive one. We, we could just run, like, Moonblast, Giga Drain, Encore, U-Turn. Yeah, and we are slightly weak to uh, Hydreigon too, so that yeah, I think that I think we can do that. Cause like uh, with with those two, like it really patches up weaknesses to things. Okay, so the in depth Napoleon. the in depth analysis of patching up weaknesses to things. So Scald, Defog, we have Rock. We don't, oh, we don't need have, Defog. Oh, oh, that's right, we don't need Defog. Uh, just Scald, Rocks, Roar, and. We could either go Flash Cannon, uh, we could go Toxic, we could go Ice Beam. I was thinking Ice Beam that gives us a, another check to Special Dragons, but we do have Whimsicott. Yeah. We're going to have Whimsicott. Standard rather. team building method by Geo. Does it get T-Wave? <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, Shout out to LBA. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, Flash Cannon, Ice Beam, or Toxic out of those three. Three. Which one do we want? Flash cannon hits. 
fairies, but it doesn't do a whole lot. I and we could go. I, we could I go. Think not like the main we, argument for flash cannon is hitting a bomb of snow. That too. That too. That could actually work because we are actually kind of six would by it yeah. once we get rid of Rotom Heat. I also wanted to keep Rotom Heat and then just add Whimsicott because I don't know what your thought thought process was after adding Whimsicott over Rotom. Um, basically like a Scarfer in the last slot. Mm-hmm. Alright, so for the Empoleon spread, I'm assuming max HP 176 Bidef and I forget. I can look that up in the Skype yeah. thing. You had... 196 but F. 196. Okay, that makes sense. At least 246. So wait, what move did we go for? Flash cannon? Yeah, that that's what I just went for. I'm cool with that. Alright, so um, um Whimsicott. I actually have no idea what Whimsicott set we should use. Neither I like Whimsicott, I. but Are we I've going lefties or life orb? Hmm. I guess that's the first thing we kind of got to decide. I'm just gonna look at the, uh, the sets real quick for you. You. All right. I, I I honestly think we should run encore. Yeah, encore is definitely the main thing you want to use on Whimsicott. Yeah, because if we get a sweet coon like going for sleep talk, we can just encore mm-hmm. and force a switch. Hmm. I'm assuming encore dual stabs. For, yeah, for we could go. Spots. And then we have the option of like U turn, stun spore, memento, seeds, taunt. Yeah. Wait, it gets taunt? Yeah. That's pretty neat. I didn't even know that. Um, so, do we go leftovers, or do we not know yet? I think it kind of depends on what our last move is. I don't think yeah. we should go seeds. So Yeah, I mean, either. So, do we, it's more, do we want to be a defensive Whimsicott or an offensive one? Um, so I feel like some speed would be nice. M- maybe not max, but some. Let's see. What did they put on here for that? Shit, where's that at? Um, oh, they don't even put speed on this, which it doesn't kind of need. Maybe just like enough but to outrun Ape. Because I feel like is, that's the fastest thing you're going to be at running. A- Ape is that's one of really them. fast. That's like... 348 I want to say that sounds about right you'd have to run like timid but you'd have to run 200 timid huh Is it which worth it? also works because it outspeeds and then just rest in physical bulk I would say like uh, ma- like max HP max physical I went bulk? 248 60 then 200 speed timid 248 HP 60 defense yeah gotcha um, so then I'm assuming we would be lefties, and our last move would be... Hmm. Let's think of our options, so... You, U-turn would be kind of nice, because that's one of the things we were kind of pitching before. Because, yeah, and then... Core. Because Whimsicott forces out most Hydreigon. Yeah. Because they don't want to catch a Moonblast. Not at all. Um, forces out Choice Locked Ments. Yeah. And getting U-turn on that is always nice. So, I think U-turn is a viable last option. I only think we need Memento, because Obama still is bulky enough. Yeah. So yeah, U-turn. The The question is, what do we lower? Just attack, because we're just... Yeah, because it's, it's, it's U-turn, that's it. All right. Um, hmm. So, is our last slot Scarfer? Yeah, that, sh- that sounds good. We have a lot of priority. Encore and Shard. Mm-hmm. So, what Two should we go with? a lot. Uh-huh. <laughs> um. All right, so I guess what do we want in our scarfer? Do we want something with cleaning, oh. like real cleaning potential? Yeah, we kind of lack something for that. Like I know Obama Snow does that, but we could go. I'd feel more comfortable going mints now than I was before. Yeah, especially because we added a uh, trick type jack. Because then, it, like, yes, it's three ice weaknesses, but now we also have two resists. Wait, does Whimsicott off speed uh, Heliolisk? Uh, no, we would need, like, 109 for that. Heliolisk. Or it hits 109. Oh, it's actually the same speed as Nape, so we're good. No, it's not. For real? It's not. The knife fuck. Oh. 348 is what. Oh, yeah, it is. You're right. I am. I'm tripping. Oh no, Nape is 
three, four. I was I was getting Heliolisk and Nate mixed up. Either way, ends so up we outspeed out. both either way, so it's all good. All right, last mon, last mon, last mon, last mon. I guess. Hmm. Is there anything we have a sort of weakness to that we could revenge? Um, we deal with fighting types. We have two checks to that. Yeah, two checks to Crocoon. Ments we have. Not Winsicott. a lot for, but we on. We have Whimsicott and Obama Snow again. Yeah, we we encore into DD, or we encore into a dragon, or or we just click Ice Shard. So. Yeah. Hmm. Do we need a Scarfer? It's nice. We yeah. could just go with a cleaner. We could bring back the Lord set of uh hoo ha. <laughs> and for name. <laughs> Hoo-ha would be nice. Um, SD, uh, flame charge. And we could even go like flame charge three attacks. Yeah, like at, at that point though, like I don't necessarily see the merit of going with that over. Just a J scarf. Just plain scarf, because in my eyes, at least. But I mean, like the merit with that is that we don't have to. Uh, well, I mean, we do have Snorlax accent. Never mind. I was gonna say we don't have to remove Chandelure or anything like mm -hmm. that. I mean, I I feel like the only reason to add a Scarfer right now is because we want more revenge killing potential. I think we should have something that could revenge kill Arrow because if it has Earthquake, yeah. we are we just auto lose. It's kind of a problem. I mean, we have Lax, but that does not take hits extremely well. Scarf Water type is probably out of the question. I mean, Scarf Aporeon looking. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta calm down. Um. Hmm. So Nape is out of the question. What about like Ment still revenge kills it after rocks? Doesn't but not even. I'm not talking about like a switch into it, but I'm just talking about a revenge yeah, kill. Yeah, Ments can still KO with outrage after rocks, right? Yeah, you really want to use Salamence, don't you? It, it's like I, I I just actually straight up don't know what to use. Yeah, Salamence usually fits, just fits on every team mm -hmm. because it can do so many roles. It can life or wall break. And plus, like, do I guess the benefits of Ments are that it gives a or gives us a second uh, or another fighting resist, which is always nice. Um, mm. Gives us a ground immunity, which you know, like, we don't necessarily need at all. But so. it could also work. Yeah, I know what you mean. Uh huh. Yeah, that kind of that sounds good actually. And, and plus, yeah. it's a fast scarfer, so it is. So, do we want to intimidate or Moxie on this? Moxie probably. Yeah, because it's another great cleaning thing. Outrage, dragon, claw, claw, um, earthquake, earthquake, or, and then do we want Iron Tail in the last well, slot or Fire Blast? The thing about Iron Tail is it doesn't do a whole lot. It does. I'm not quite sure how much it does to Forges, but Iron Tail isn't really a good move you want to be locked into. Yeah, that's true. Because it just misses so much, and, and there like are Fire Blast isn't amazing, but it's better than. There's so many things that just switch into steel types. Yeah. Or steel type moves, so. Yeah. I think Fire Blast. This is actually looking kind of fresh. Uh, we're going to pause it real quick, make sure all our EV spreads are working, get the nicknames mm -hmm. in, and uh, we'll be right back. All right, we're back, guys. <laughs> we innovated the spreads. Uh, link to the stuff will be down in, in the description, but pretty much just came back uh, to say thank you, guys, if you guys are still here, because, you, you know, that was kind of a long video, but hopefully it broke down a relatively sane team building process um and yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> anyway just the changes we made uh we put more we defense on snorlax so that it's not too killed by the stone edge from yeah. the other thing and and then we just add a nickname so as i said pastebin will be down in the description below um but with that I urge you guys to leave a like if you guys did enjoy um we may do more of these in the future depending on the reception that it gets because mm -hmm. if you guys are like oh no like we know how to build teams and like there's not much point in doing this i guess yeah but what if you think you're good but you actually suck <laughs> that sums up me <laughs> just my competitive experience <laughs> <laughs> um anyway yeah go ahead and uh check out brandon link to his stuff maybe in the description who knows like i say along that, with everything else i say that all the time but it's usually not mm -hmm. anyway um but with that urge you guys to oh, wait any closing i heard what no no you're lame. no all right <laughs> with that urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content and with that i'll catch you on the flip-flop flip-flop